what's up with my viewers subscribers all of youtube hope you guys are having a great weekend a great holiday shopping season get ready for christmas and everything hope you guys have gone to the movies or are going to the movies to go see star wars the force awakening because it's out now and it's a great time it's a great movie it's exciting for all the star wars fans hope you guys love it but the reason why i did this video is because i i just gotta know so i want you guys to answer me you know give me your opinion why do people feel the need to spoil Star Wars Force Awakens for people who haven't seen it yet? I'm going to say right now, this is going to be a spoiler-filled video. I already did a review for Star Wars Force Awakens yesterday. It's on my channel now. You can go check it out. Link's in the description below. It's on my channel. You want to watch that. If you haven't seen the movie yet, then go see the movie if you're interested. Or if you're not interested in the movie and you don't care about spoilers, then you can just watch my review and watch this video and just answer me. And probably the video is more directed towards you, the people who really don't care about spoilers or, you know, that spoil shit for everybody. Why do you guys feel the need to spoil Star Wars for people? Why? I, I do my best to, like, make sure all my videos and my reviews are, like, spoiler-free because I want people to go into the movie just knowing, like, what they can expect in the movie, the, the facts in the movie as far as, you know, plot and ending and all that stuff like that, you know? But without really spoiling it too much for them. But I was just saying, like, why do people on the internet, like, all week around this movie that's seen it earlier, seen it last week, they just feel the need to spoil the movie for people. Why? Why do you guys feel the need to spoil it? I, I, I don't get it. I've just never been a fan of spoiler period. I always felt like if... I don't want the movie spoiled for me. So one of the things that happened are days leading up to this movie, I've seen on the internet, you know, I've seen on social media sites that people were just like, okay, uh, Han Solo, he ended up dying in this movie. Han Solo's gonna die in this movie. And Han Solo does die in the movie. When I saw it on social media, like, people were just tagging me in and they're saying like, oh, Han Solo dies and shit. And I was just like, I don't know if that's true or not, really. But if it is true... Then the other thing was kind of just like, well, I love Han Solo Death. I love him and everything. You know, I just watched the original trilogy and I watched the prequels last weekend. I saw The Force Awakens last night and everything. So I'm just in Star Wars mode. And I was like, the way Han Solo, the way the movie led up to Han Solo being killed and everything, you know, with him being on the walkway with Kylo Ren and all the main characters coming in to see Han Solo pretty much get killed off. I was like, okay, this is the part in the movie where Han Solo dies. So it's like at that point, I was like, yeah, people were right about the spoiler that Han Solo dies. But I kind of make up my mind that I'm not too upset about it because the way the movie executed it and built it up to it, I was like, okay, it's obviously clear at this point someone's about to die. Right, sure, it's only going to be Kylo Ren, so obviously it must be Han Solo. So when Han Solo got jabbed in the stomach with the lightsaber, I was like, okay, the spoiler for truth. More so, what I didn't want to spoil for me, honestly, is Kylo Ren's character, which I didn't know nothing about. No one spoiled that for me. If someone did spoil it, I didn't check it out. I didn't want to know the ending of the movie. And the ending of the movie is when you actually see Luke Skywalker. You see Ray hand him lightsaber and shit. He just standing on the on the cliff looking like Jedi Jesus and shit, just standing there, just looking. Like, uh, the force is strong in you. It's strong. So when I saw that, I was like, okay, I'm ready for the next movie. And when I found out who Kylo Ren was, where he is Han Solo and Leia's son, I was really in the theater just like, oh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. So the Han Solo spoiler thing for me, I'm honestly sitting back and I'm like, I like Han Solo, but I'm not that attached to his character and that attached to the lore that I'm just like, oh my god, Han Solo's killed, shit, I can't watch Star Wars no more, I can't watch it no more. Or no, I was just pretty much just like, okay, Han Solo's gonna die, I hope it's not true, because I like him, but if it is true, then okay, Han Solo's dead moving on to the next movies but at the same time i know fans out there who are passionate about these movies these movies are like the bible to them and i feel bad for the people who have it spoiled for them it's just like why are you assholes spoiling it for you people and some people on the internet are just saying like oh Han solo dies and kylo ren is Han solo's son and this spoiler and that spoiler and it's luke skywalker spoiler and i would just i always just be like why why do people will spoil the movie? For, why this movie? We've had Avengers, we've had Jurassic World, we've had a bunch of other movies that come out this year, but none of them have topped the spoiler list like Star Wars Force Awakens. It just seemed like all the assholes and all the douchebags came out to just be like, yeah, let's spoil this movie for everybody. Now, there was an article in um LA saying that there was a guy to walk out of the pre walk out of the screen and it was just like, hey, by the way, guys, um Han Solo, he gets killed. 
So now you know. No, he literally said that walking out the theater and all the hundred people waiting for the next Star Wars screen and he heard that. And I think he got jumped and beat up and everything like that. I don't really condone violence and shit because it's just, it's just the movie. But I know the fans, Star Wars fans, they go crazy for this shit. So, yeah. Beat that ass. Man, may the force be with you, bitch. Yeah, that guy got what he deserved. I'm just saying. Like, that's pretty, so pretty much like the theme of this whole video. I just want to put right fast. It's really just asking you guys, the viewers, the fans, and all that. Why do people feel the need to spoil Star Wars Force Awakens for people? Why? Just why? Why can't people just go into the movie not knowing nothing about it, not knowing any of the spoilers, and just be completely content and just surprised when they see it for the first time, make their experience pure? Or I would feel like we live in a world where that would be a thing, but I feel like, you know, when episode 8 comes out in 2017, people are going to spoil that shit for people, so it's kind of like, I feel like at this point, rule of thumb, the week of a Star Wars movie comes out, the week the movie comes out, just stay off the internet, stay off Facebook, social media all together for the whole week till you see the movie just so you don't get it spoiled for you so you have the least amount of chance for it being spoiled today what did you think about star wars force awakening what is your opinion on all the spoilers and all the things involving you know han solo being killed and did you like that did you thought it was bullshit and you know what are your theories about what's gonna happen in the next star wars episode because i'm telling you ray I think she is Kylo Ren's sister because she is a Force user and the Force is strong with her. There was a part in the trailer, and I think it was a teaser trailer, where Luke was just like, the Force is strong in my family. My father has it. I have it. My sister has it. You have that power too. He didn't say it at all in this movie at all, so I was just kind of just like, who was he talking to when I did a video for that? And now I feel like that could be in the next episode. I think he's talking to her, so she must be a Skywalker Somehow, either she's Luke's kid, or she's Leia's kid, or whatever. Just somehow, she's got the Force, and it's awakening her. Think whatever you think, whatever your theories are, put in the comments section, let me know. Let's talk about Star Wars Force Awakens. It's out right now. If you haven't seen it yet, and you are a fan, and you like these type of movies, go check it out. You will enjoy it. Remember, guys, subscribe. Until next time.